My family and I belong to an undersourced language community, and one day my nephew asked me to find a book on the internet in our mother tongue. However, we couldn't find it and we got a 404 error, content not found. I cannot tell to my seven years old nephew that the content in our language, our knowledge, might have been moved, deleted, or perhaps never existed on the internet. So, how can I prevent my language from disappearing? How are other communities saving their languages? Why are Google, Microsoft, and others using knowledge graphs to store the world's knowledge? My research question is how to use knowledge graphs for supporting and empowering undersourced languages and their communities. Knowledge graphs have been used by Google to store knowledge of the world, Amazon uses it to store knowledge about products, even Wikipedia has its own knowledge graph called Wikidata. So what makes knowledge graphs suitable for the task? The advantage of knowledge graphs is that they can store information or knowledge in a way that it can be understood by humans and machines. So every statement can be structured as triples, subject, predicate, object. For instance, Vienna is the capital of Austria, is Vienna the subject, is the capital of as predicate, and Austria is the object. So to answer Marissa's questions, I will follow four steps. Step one, collect, process, and model content of sources in a target language, books, vocabularies, dictionaries, and so on. Step two, set up a knowledge graph and make it accessible to all via the web. Step three, allow the under-resourced language communities to access, edit, update, contribute, and improve their knowledge graphs. And step four, provide several ways to deploy their knowledge graph for its dissemination. Currently, we tested our approach building a knowledge graph for the Kichwa under-resourced language. It stores more than 1 million of statements in more than 18 Quechua language variants and dialects. So the Quechua knowledge graph is open. Users can contribute their researchers can download and analyze the data. Quechua communities can gather there and discuss language issues. Let but not least, search engines like Google can access, retrieve, and show Quechua content results. So I truly believe that knowledge graphs can help understand languages and their communities around the world, and I hope the content not found error will not be the future of our next generations. Thank you.